Unlike an acid base titration, where we must use an indicator to help us recognize the moment when the acid and base have just neutralized each other, in redox titrations we usually don't require an indicator because the reactants themselves change color. In titrations involving iodine, however, we have the problem in that the change in color fades so gradually through red and yellow that we cannot accurately recognize the endpoint of the titration. We get around this by using starch as an indicator. When starch is added to the conical flask when it is a pale yellow, it will turn blue-black when it comes in contact with even low concentrations of iodine. This blue-black color, however, will disappear quite dramatically at the endpoint, giving us a much more accurate titration.